I'm trying to restart my garden a little earlier. Last year I started in June. This time I'm starting in April. So literally a little bit earlier this week, I put in some, I think this is kale. Guys, literally like a couple days ago and they're already sprouting. Oh my gosh. Now I think my cow horn pepper, I don't know. I don't know if it's alive or not. Based on this stem, it's i feel like it's wick i don't know <laughs> my favorite movie is the secret garden when i was little and they thought all the plants were dead but the but dickon was like no it's wick it's wick so i think it's wick i don't know but i think i'm gonna cut this back a little bit more like right here i know you're supposed to just keep it at the y but i think my jalapeno plant may be dead for real i don't know but i mean it has a nice woody stem peppermint plant i took away all of the little roots and stuff that was growing out but i think it's like budding again so i'm gonna let it be because look at that oh my goodness and here i think it's carrots but they haven't started doing anything yet <laughs> but i just put the seeds in this is a bigger pot than my trow so hopefully this grows i need more flowers we are back oh, hold on y'all gotta get hold on we are back um at my job's little not little it's not little training situation and girl i love it because they give you cute little free stuff i got this little pouch i don't even think i used mine last time but it comes with like um a mask eye mask and earphones and then a cute little essential oil patch and ooh, can't sleep deep sleepy pillow spray period so you know little goodies i love the little bags i feel like i just got an ipsy bag y'all remember ipsy bags i feel like i just got one but without doing too much, this is the room. Nice TV, little desk area. Let's look at the view. What we got? Beautiful view, thank you. Um, it's basically just like the room I had last time. Hi. Gave us this water bottle. I'm gonna use this right now, but let me wash it. Let me rinse it out first. Again, I had to open the suitcase and get back this bag that's empty because I'm gonna go get these snacks, okay? Let's go. I'm gonna try my best to be sociable, but it's really hard. Y'all know Tummy is a true introvert, but I'm friendly though. I just got back. I was actually having a really nice conversation with the girl I met. Um, we were sitting at a table just talking and look at all the snacks I got so far. They got my favorite kind of little trail mix. I've never heard of this, but I love, this is what usually be inside the Omega 3 trail mix that I get. It has raisins in it. Usually it's just cranberries, but it's probably good. I got more of these, a couple Snickers, um, Twizzlers, Jerky. And this just round one, baby. This just round one. I'm doing a little chocolate. Then I got ruby red juice. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. And then they think of everything. This water bottle belongs to like waterproof stickers. They think of everything. Back in the room. Check the snacks, y'all. Check the snacks. I got snacks for years in here. Y'all can't see them, but they in there. But they came and made my bed. Um, very beautiful. I actually met some girlies and we're gonna go for a bike ride. How exciting. I'm really doing it. I'm being friendly. What am I gonna wear on a bike? It's really hot. I might wear this right here. Yep. Let me go. Look how beautiful, guys. 
best part about work training is the food as you can see but also i had a really good time i met two ladies and they were very cool i even taught them this card game called slapjack which you guys if you watch the vlogs you've seen my friends play but great trip as always up early this morning well, not that early it's 10 o'clock but i am volunteering um happy earth day happy earth day so many why the heck did i want to get in the water so bad y'all Oh, yeah, you're on the bank. You know what she said? Oh, you just this come is and say, oh, I think it, look, it's gone. Yeah. Let's go come right back, you know? So you got to get the root ball under, underneath it. And it helps to kind of cut. Like, she's got a big patch there. You can cut it in half. Like, take the shovel and just cut it in half and break it into two. Our goal is we got wheelbarrows and wagons. We can rotate out, you can take a break and go, let's say you gotta go to the bathroom, you wanna just take a break. Come out, get a wheelbarrow full. These are nice wheelbarrows, they'll dump. Um, these wagons, rather. And then take them, when you go down to where we met, you'll take a hard left. You guys. These are hard, right? These are real hard to get. These coming out? In the mud. Yeah, she said these are in the coconut water. Oh boy, we've been working. But it's probably gonna rain soon, so time to go. Y'all, I fell. I fell in these folks' mud, but luckily it didn't get like on my shirt. Like, I'm definitely gonna have to take my jacket off in the Uber. Mud is on my face. What about water bottle eat? A beautiful boat, Mr. Butterfly. Look how pretty he is. So pretty. All right, where's my water? There it is. Get out, I volunteered on Earth Day. Oh, y'all saw that, but they gave us these shirts, y'all. This shirt is a freaking kid's medium. It's literally a freaking crop top. Can y'all see how little these shots is? It's really little. Now I'm a good 165, but it fit. It's a kid's medium. It fits. I was like, you know what? Give me the shirt, ma'am. Give me the shirt. I mean, it ain't too tight either. It lift up a little bit, but not much. Like I'm not, I'm not that big. I ain't as skinny as I used to be, but I ain't that big. Anyway, I got on here to tell y'all, um, this background, that I'm cooking some cabbage and cabbage and sausage. I've made this meal before when I was like on a little keto diet, but I don't know. I was just really craving some, some sausage and cabbage. That's what it's looking like. I used um, this Adele's, Ad Adele's, I don't know how you say it, but Cajun style Adoli, Cajun style Adoli. So I put them in there. Let's taste it. The cabbage is good. It's really good. 
I just want to put a little salt in it though. You know, cabbage be having like a little sweet taste to it. And that's just really cabbage, but I need a little more savory in there. That might be it. Y'all, my dog is over there <laughs> looking at me. He like, what that is? Uh, it's not for you, baby dog. It's not for you. Here, taste it. Tell me what you think. You cook the smallest meal, you gotta clean the kitchen. You do anything, you gotta clean the kitchen. Use the stove, you gotta clean the kitchen. You gotta keep cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the kitchen. So much stuff to clean. You cook cabbage, you gotta clean cutting boards, drainers, skillets. This is my leftover cabbage. I'm gonna let it cool down. Now, where is my serving? It's pretty late, so I just have a really tiny serving. Nothing much at all. You guys, guess what I'm making from the smoke? Any guesses? Wrong. I'm making a sweet potato pie. A sweet potato pie. Dang, I forgot how to. I'm peeling them. Ooh. With my tongs. I guess I could rinse some under some warm water, but ain't nobody got time for that. I made a short, I think last year, 2020, 2022, how I made sweet potato pie after learning from my auntie New York. All right. Now to mash my sweet potato. I added a couple different things to my recipe this time. It's basically the same as that video from when my aunt and from when my aunt showed me how to make it. But this time I did put a little bit of brown sugar in it. It has white sugar as well, but some brown sugar. So that's one thing. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put sugar on the crust. I just watched a YouTube video. And the father, he said that he put sugar on the crust, make its crust taste real good. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. He didn't put it on like the edge. He just said in there. But I'm just kind of tapping it <laughs> along the, you know, like the upper crust too, you know. I want a little sugar. I want a little sugar on, you know, the rim. This time I've mixed up my batter. You know me, the last thing I put in here is the egg because I'm a sampler. So I'm a sample. Ooh, is it too much? It was only three sweet potatoes. Whew. Yeah, that ain't. It was just right. That's why I just buy three sweet potatoes. But now, when I be on a sweet potato pie making thing, I want to make it every day. I be want to make it all the time. I want to make me a pie. My thing is, I don't know how people get perfect pie tops. Like, I smoothed it the best I can. I know you can, you know, jiggle it. Ooh, maybe that's it. It's the jiggle. Ooh, okay. It's oh my god. Now tell me that ain't a level pie, bro. I hit it with the little shimmy shimmy shake, bro. Come on, somebody. Mm. 
good sweet potato pie. You know, I didn't measure nothing. When I was taught how to make this, my auntie didn't measure nothing. So I can't be measuring at the end there. I do what the spirit say is right. I be a dash of that. The only thing I didn't measure was two eggs. <laughs> That's the only thing. Opened up a can of condensed milk. I probably used about a fourth of a cup though. I don't know. I ain't measure nothing. Three sweet potatoes. You gotta have usually it's two big ones and like a smaller one. Perfect. Perfect. So I kind of made the leftover sweet potato pie into a little, what is this? A souffle? Y'all, why well, I be watching strawberry shortcake at night? It be heating though. It do be heating, but y'all, it's really good though. I only put it in the microwave because, you know, I put it in the microwave for like a minute because it had like egg in there and I don't want salmonella, salmonella, whatever you get from raw eggs or whatever. So, mm. you guys, it's a little more brown than I. I put it in there for an hour on 350, but um, the crust is very golden and it's starting to go back down. I mean, on camera, don't look that bad. Hold on. No, it look a little brown. I mean, I think it's still good. Like the inside is the color, but it's just a little, <sighs> I'm gonna let it cool down and go back down. Y'all, I'm so mad at me because why would I tell my hairdresser 9 o'clock? We never do hair at 9 o'clock. And I freaking tell her 9 o'clock. We always do 10. And it's 7.30. <sighs> I'll see y'all in the Uber because I'm definitely not taking the train today. <laughs> and I'm about to book a trip. Hey, I hear that? I don't even know where I'm going to book it at, but I'm going to take that thousand. And, and then I hear that. Girl, I haven't been to Amsterdam, Venice yet. I'm booking that. Oh. I haven't been to Barcelona and Madrid. I was booking that for next year. Um, I'm going to hang out in Seattle for a little while before we get on that cruise. Mm -hmm. Just be there. But no, I just, every year, I go somewhere. I go somewhere out of the country and I go somewhere in the country. Every year. Deeper. I like to enjoy myself. I don't want to be rushed. That's fair. Yeah, so now I'm out. That, that's all. That man, what? My my daughter is doing very, very well. Our grandkids are doing very well. I have their little book money on the side for college. They got a little allowance that I give them, you know, every week and put money in their savings account. Uh, so when I was in uh, Thailand, <laughs> My ass slipped and fell. When I say I slipped and fell. Did you get treated over there? Girl, hell yeah. Hell yeah. What kind of treatment they gave me? You said a lot of oil? Mm -hmm. Unless you're using a lot of oil. I'm with you. You know, because people. about my hair i wanted to film this portion earlier but like y'all it's cr i always say this but you really don't be thinking your hair be growing let me take this off so y'all can see what i'm talking about it's essential to take pictures and stuff like that but like i know my hair is growing because it's literally maybe i'm gonna start wearing this dress for reference like right now it's touching like like here it's easy to see in the back, it's like, right, it's this one. Well, it's actually over that one. But y'all can see, right? Yeah. And I know my hair is growing because this layer right here, this layer is freaking getting longer because it used to be like, I don't know, like right here. And it's definitely gotten longer. 
That's crazy. Even the, I mean, of course the layer should be getting longer because those are the ones I redid. But one moment, let me just put them in a ponytail real quick. Like this layer right here is really doing its thing. It looks healthy. I had a retie yesterday and I was gonna do my own, but girl, I did the one row in the very last back and then throughout this month, I had been redoing the front. I know I had did like this middle part. I had done a whole bunch of them. And my lot, I was like telling my lactation, like I started doing my own, but it was overwhelming me. So I called her cause I was like, wow, I'm gonna really save money this month by um, not getting my retire, which is already kind of over. It's been probably like eight weeks since my last one, but I had done the front, I done the back, and then, well, I done the very back, the very front, my middle part, and like, I did a lot, like up in here, I did some random ones. So she was like, you did quite a lot. It was like some areas you didn't did like a lot in one area, some areas you did one, yeah. It was doing too much for me. So I feel like I've been seeing a lot more lint. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be tummy to bunny, but bun bun tummy, because I'm gonna keep a bunny on my head. But she washed my hair. I don't always get a wash at every appointment. Just sometimes, you know, the weather be bad. But um, we washed. I actually asked if people do a like an apple cider vinegar detox, but she said I didn't need it. So here we are. And I usually like my edges to be more like in, but I like this like soft, not really neat edge look. But I mean. I guess the way I did it, it was pretty neat the first time, but now it's growing out. She could only do like one rotation, so it wasn't enough hair to like really twist around and stuff. Don't you hate when you step out on your balcony and be like, oh snap, it's cold AF. And then you put a jacket on, you put a sweater on your dog, you put a blanket in your dog's carrier, and then you get outside and it feel hotter than a jalapeno's hoo-ha. Don't you just hate that? Cause I just make it make sense. Now I'm about to have to stop and put my take my dog's jacket on because I'm gonna be okay. But him, not so much. <laughs> Y'all, the president Nim was literally near where I live. And I'm so mad. I'm so mad I didn't know what the f was going on. Y'all, they are having a blast outside. I'm not mad at them. Go ahead, it's Cinco de Mayo. They having a good time. And I looked down a couple times. I was like, wow, y'all really doing it. And I saw uh, like three people dancing. Anyway, it's just like, dang, I wish I had a friend. Who I'm like, girl, come over here, Cinco de Mayo. You know, we got the restaurants downstairs. Let's go, da 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 da. But I don't know nobody for real. And I really try to make friends. I try to make work associates, and I really be trying to make friends. But it's okay for a second, but it doesn't last. And I don't know what else to do. Like, and I I do not want to be the person who keeps reaching out to somebody who doesn't want to be bothered. Basically, I'd, and I get it because I don't know. Does that make sense? Like, I really do be trying to make friends. But it's just like the friends don't be trying to make me. That's what it is. The friends do not be trying to make me. And I really digress. Anyway, I'm journaling because it helps me clear my mind. I had a bad headache earlier. I had to go. I had to go take out all them dang plug ins out. I don't know what it was. Pop me an ibuprofen, eight hundred. And now I'm just going through my um my journal putting in more photos i have all my photos look at all the good food i had at my jobs little training place y'all they, they they know they can cook some food up i tell you they know they can get some food they got some food um i have to input all of my canada trips i recently caught up like three months because i was so behind but i feel good about this I have like a, I like to have a good representation on what happened during the year. 
And I, was, I recently was about to say, I don't even think I like journaling anymore. No, I just got too behind. I do love journaling. I can't believe I try to play myself like that. Sometimes you tell yourself you don't want to do something, not because you truly don't like it, but because you've put yourself in a position to where it feels impossible to catch up. And you just have to catch up. By all means necessary, catch up and that joy will return. I hope however that makes you feel i hope you can use that in jesus name amen amen with the dub step in the back because hello y'all i just stopped by this um like business situation a lot of um sellers <clears throat> um with like a lot of black owned businesses and stuff and like handmade products it's really cool i bought like four things <laughs> thank you it's me and batman people been swooning over him but i will show you what i got um let's see what did i buy first from the craft house Two candles. This one is sun kissed. It smells really good. And then I bought this one. I really needed some candles and I like that they said it was soy blend because my last soy candles they burned entirely all the way down too was nothing in the jar and i like that about a candle i don't like when it gets stuck at the bottom or stuff like that the next thing i purchased was this black soap this is the labeling check it out can y'all see it smells really really good and she also had a really cool soap saver so you put your you can put your soap pieces in here and she had like shower gloves too but i already own like a bunch of shower gloves she was like you can also put the soap pieces in the shower glove and i'm like bro that's smart so i got this and then i also got a free sample of mm, smell like candy <clears throat> But it's all handmade soaps, and this was the card. Info on that one. The other one. You can check out this one too. This is for the candles, but um, bought some hot sauce, right? <laughs> now this one for hot sauce. This one. He said it's like a, a six, that this one looks like an eight. And that would be this one right here. They're both really good, y'all. He had these chips from Costco, the multi-grain tortillas. The chips, I could eat a whole bag by, by itself. So check those out too. And lastly, I picked up some waist beads. I don't have a card, but um, they're pink and green, my two favorite colors. Um, and yeah, that's my little black on business hall for today it felt good to support and like things that were cool there was a lot more out there if i stop by again i'll just show you guys what it looks like but me and batman are going to continue our little walk it's a little hot i want to take him in this dog park but i know he's not gonna act right he be snapping at dogs you be really embarrassing see guys it was a whole vibe discover stuff when you come in cheese stuffed corn tortillas what this is not on the app this stuff don't not be on the app do y'all think this is good pickled tomatoes bro i don't know this sound like that mother might be here i don't know about that one i've been discovering all type of stuff at the grocery store 
y'all what kind of alfredo sauce do i want these are two for five so i have milk i could really make my own sauce i got milk i got garlic i got flour i could really make my own alfredo sauce like i did last time but i ain't trying to do too much I like alfredo sauce and my pizza. Me and my boyfriend are doing pizza tonight. On the weekends, we cook together, but in two separate locations. Let me see. Creamy basil or alfredo, garlic alfredo. Mm, I'm gonna get both of these. They're two for five. So on my pizza, I bought pizza dough, pepperoni, spinach, and arugula. The alfredo sauce. I got some. Um, this is says baby broccoli, but um, I know it is broccolini. And uh, I'm trying to think, I'm gonna put some hot peppers on it as well. I don't know what else. I think that's it. Well, the MS walk is complete. This is my second time participating in the MS walk. I did it last May. And again, this May, it was very fun. Walk three miles with my team and back into. Oh, he's probably not got his head out. I walked all the way over there. And then I walked around the National Mall and then back up. But now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna get food because I had nothing to eat. It's a vibe.